Hey, what's going on, guys? It is your buddy Keith, and we are here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios. We've got a little guest. Miss Sophie is in the studio with us today, rocking out the Slayer shirt. Very nice. Right on. And uh, you were actually just holding this bad boy yes, earlier, weren't you? It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> this is the USA Jackson Warrior, WR1. It's got the Mike Shannon Interference Ghost Flames that look insane, black and purple. Um, this thing just screams metal, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. If you guys are new to the channel, hit subscribe, hit like. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you a thing. And you get to hang out with me and Sophie while we check out uh, really badass guitars. Oh, yeah. This one we got from Denmark, believe it or not. I uh, brought this on the plane with me back here. Like I said, I literally go all over the world finding the best, the coolest guitars. And when I saw this one, I fell in love. We had to have it. This has got Mother of Pearl shark fin inlays on an ebony fretboard. It's also got the Mother of Pearl Jackson logo which looks awesome. And it doesn't have the typical blemish that you see underneath the Jackson logo on some of these guitars where you get delamination, not the case. At the bottom of the fretboard, we've got the serial number. So you, one, two, three, four, <laughs> seven. <laughs> one, two, three, four, seven. <laughs> ah, so close. Uh, that ha I think the price should be double if you get one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, funnily enough, we had the exact same guitar same spec, same everything, same finish. And it was one, two, three, I think like six, two. It was uh, only a few serial numbers off from this one. Really cool. If you check on the channel and look at our other one, you can kind of compare. This one's super, super clean. Has the original warranty card, um, original hard shell case. As you can see, it's the Jackson hard shell case. These things are big. But one of the things you notice, Sophie, is that when you play it, you can play it kind of multiple ways. You can play it like a Randy Rhodes where you're sitting down kind of classical, yeah, classical style. style. Or you can just... Or you can have your, so you can have your knee here or you can have your knee here. Either way. Like when you have your knee here, you can access this bit easier and it's just much more like easier to play fast and stuff. Right on. But, you know, whatever's comfortable. And then if we check out the back of this, this is what I think is super, super cool. And that is the fact that... Oh uh, yeah, you can hold it out. There we go. So we've got a factory unfinished neck. Some people thought that this is like, oh, they're like, this doesn't look right. This is custom done. It's not. It was done at the shop. You can see where the uh, like the urethane coat for the body ends. And on neck through guitars, I think that's this is what throws people off. You might not know this, Sophie, but you're gonna learn <laughs> is that now this is called um, set through yeah so in the back in the day you'd have you'd had like set neck construction like a mm -hmm. gibson sg so on neck throughs this used to be one piece of wood and it would run through the middle yeah and then you'd have the sides kind of like glued on to the middle block bit but now as you can see they do kind of like this set through kind of a fusion between neck through and set neck and then of course on jackson's you've got the scarf joint here which they do instead of a volute which you'll see on ESPs and uh, Gibsons. And that's just for added reinforcement. And uh, yeah, make sure we don't have any headstock snaps when you're <laughs> touring around the world. <laughs> awesome. As far as condition goes on this, this thing is super, super clean. Luckily, it's a black guitar. So if you ever get little chips or anything, you uh, can touch it up with the old Sharpie, <laughs> which was done right here. There's a little corner chip there but you probably never even noticed that this whole time until i told you this guitar is just totally beautiful yeah. i'll tell you what i have to just go over it once more make sure we find all of the little dings or dents or anything i don't think there's much there might be a little bit on one of the horns i think there's let's see here is there anything on here i think there's a little one right there yeah on that horn this one Seems pretty good. I don't really see anything. I'll tell you what, Sophie, if you hold it yeah. upside down like this. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we've got that side there, which you can see. Yeah, there's a little bit. I think, I think there's a little bit there. 
but again, it's super hard to make out on a black guitar. Yeah, okay, that's where it is right there. And then on this one, I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, mm -hmm. a little, little bit there. Yeah. Tiny. What you would expect pretty much on anything that is this old. You know, if, if you have a Jackson that's more than a couple years old, you're going to have tiny little bits on these points. Just goes with the territory. But I'll tell you what, let's back up and see Sophie holding this thing. Well, hey. That looks awesome. I mean, that is just a <laughs> super cool awesome. looking guitar. I don't think it gets better than that. You'll definitely get noticed on stage. <laughs> For sure. Awesome. Sophie might even ask for your number if she sees you on stage playing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to say goodbye. Um, let's go ahead and throw that back in its case, Sophie. And if you want to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of that stuff, it's at Essex Recording Studios. And if you want to buy this guitar, where can they find it, Sophie? They can find it on the website, can't they? Yes. EssexRecordingStudios.com. And where else do we have all of our guitars? Reverb. Reverb. Reverb.com, of course, our good friends who, uh, I don't know if you know this, Etsy just bought Reverb. Oh. So now it's going to be like even huger than it already is. We're pretty excited about that. Thanks, guys. We got more guitars to show you coming up. I think we got some ESPs. We got some custom shop Gibsons. So we hope you have a good idea of what this one looks like up close and in person. Compare it to the other one on our channel that we had about a year ago, I think. And say goodbye to Sophie. See you later. <laughs> All right. Later, dudes.